Beautiful Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Sagittarius, let's get straight to your messages. Sagittarius, mm -hmm. stubbornness, what's going on? Saggy, one more, Sag. Devote. You're headed straight to something. Being consciously complete. Mastering the dance. So you have definitely mastered something here. Hang on, I've got some sage here. So this is mastering the dance, being devoted, feeling consciously complete. So, Sagittarius, you have mastered uh, your conscience here. Devote. Make an offer. Or is this an offering? Mirroring. Take the lead. Create sacred space. You have mastered something here. Take the lead. It's like consciously complete. You have mastered how to consciously avoid draining your energy. There was an energy vampire here. That's what was draining you. You've mastered something. Totally clips. Two souls merging together. Someone was an egotistical person. You really have your shit together here. You could be a single woman, but you got your shit together here. What is going on? You've mastered the dance of something. You're not allowing someone egotis is the egotistical person to drain your energy this could have happened through the eclipse you could be single and very very stable someone is up was obsessed with you i'm just saying and you're minding your own business. You're staying in your own zone. It's like you're getting a second chance here. And someone's obsessed and going crazy. What is going on here? Oh my. Someone has been acting crazy or is going to be acting crazy. Someone is very materialistic here. This is a person who had a strictly sexual connection. But burnout is here because someone has been very disrespectful. The grass looked greener, but it was artificial. Someone's burned out. 
So this person is very egotistical. It's an egotistical uh, person that your person is with. They're very materialistic and your person is burnt out from them. They're an energy vampire. And I think that... I think this person is burnt out with them. They're looking at you as a very stable, single person, minding your own business, staying in your own lane. Mm. Okay, someone has a personality disorder and they rage. When they don't get their own way. So it's like. What are we talking about here? Oh, I ain't going there. Anyway, Sagittarius, it's like you have mastered the dance. You have figured things out. You have learned to escape some kind of energy vampire or your person is burnt out. Or Someone's going to be acting real crazy. Somebody is going to be acting crazy here. That's what it's saying. Let's get you some messages here, Sagittarius. sex space oh i told you this person is extremely um materialistic they're burning your person out they're always wanting things like possessions buy me this buy me this buy me this i want this i want this i want this what's going on here Well, here you are. Divine Feminine, a real baddie here. Savage Mode, plotting revenge. Look at this fucking psycho here. This, they're panicking. Someone is going into Savage Mode because now this person might have be, be, be really busy with a lot of like it could be children it could be that they have a lot of responsibilities they've had to do some adulting here they're realizing the grass is not greener this has been a loss a setback a failure Okay. So now this person is reminiscing. These two could be in a separation or having harsh words. This is someone raging. They both are. Like, your person is getting burnt out dealing with this energy. And that energy is getting burnt out dealing with having to adult do things by themselves. Oh my God. So it's looking like they want to shoot their shot with you.
this is a really large tarot deck. Like, look at it compared to the Rider weight. Like, it's way bigger, about an inch bigger. It's hard for my hands to use this deck, but I was told to use this deck, so I will. Sagittarius. Saji. That's the Emperor. What's going on with the Emperor? Learning a lesson. Ooh, this person is burnt the hell out. They thought the grass was going to be greener. This was a strictly sexual connection in their mind. It was strictly sexual. But someone is burning out. Oh, there's the Empress over here. So what's going on? They could be pinching pennies over here, just to be real. This tired person is getting tired of paying, uh, providing, adulting. Um, they're looking at the Empress here as someone single, someone very stable, someone who's doing really well for themselves. Single, no dependence. That's what they're looking at. Over here, they may have taken someone very bougie, very materialistic, and it was all good when this person was forking out the cash. But when they cannot fork out the cash any longer, it's like this person is freaking out, acting crazy, um, your person is burnt out from work. They're burnt out from paying, providing, adulting. Maybe the person they're with has children, dependent children. Um, they're stressed out. They're burnt out. They're acting crazy. Your person's screaming at them about the kids uh, screaming about them about the money and where they're spending their money and what they're doing with their money. Like, this person is out shopping. They're a shopaholic. They are buying the latest trends. They're buying all the shoes, the handbags, the clothes, and the, and, and this person's tired of paying for it all. Period. Yeah, they're younger. See? <laughs> yeah, they're a gold digger. I'm sorry it's here. So your person is now reminiscing about the past. And now they're reminiscing nostalgic about... They're comparing you to whoever they're with. Okay, Sagittarians are pretty practical. I'm not saying that you don't have a bougie lifestyle, I mean, but if you do, you can afford it. This one cannot afford a bougie lifestyle. They're living off the avails of the masculine energy. They could have even married them, but they're burnt out. They're burnt out. This lover is burdening them out. It's like, oh God, you're following your, your North Node. Take the lead. Take the lead is here. So, <sighs> High Priestess is here. Someone highly intuitive. You have mastered this dance consciously and subconsciously. You have created space for yourself. You have kept your distance. You are minding your own business. You aren't bothering anybody and you're keeping quiet. You're keeping silent. You're keeping things to yourself. You aren't disclosing what you're doing in your life like you used to.
I'm not saying you're not bougie and you don't want uh, nice things in life, Sagittarius, but if you do, you're self-providing, okay? Now someone is looking at the differences. You've mastered this dance. You have mastered something consciously and subconsciously. Whoa, my God, Ace of Cups. This is justice. What the hell? This is a victory. My God. Oh, temperance. New beginnings. Okay, look. The world, a new chapter. This person is stuck. Look at you, the sun. Hey, Sagittarius, you are recuperating like you wouldn't imagine. You are moving on. What a beautiful deck this is. You have taken the lead. You're headed straight to your happiness. You've mastered the dance. You've figured things out. You may have become the Hierophant. You may have learned. You may have ascended. You may have mastered the proverbial dance of love and subconsciously and consciously. Bye. Competing, comparing and competing, I'm telling you. Yes, it is. Ace of Pentacles, second chances. So this situation here, I'm telling you, look at you go. You know your worth, you know your value. Fast forward movement. You freed yourself, Sad. You're not stuck. You are not going to be blindsided by anybody. You're not going to be. You have mastered your lessons here. I'm not saying that this is the Ten of Pentacles. Oh my God. Ooh, and somebody is angry <laughs> that you have manifested something. Could be a new love offer coming in. Second chances at love, second chances at life, second chances at income. Lord have mercy. The Wheel of Fortune, you have mastered how to turn the wheel in your favor. Now, guys, a lot of you are sitting there. I do read the comments. And a lot of you are saying, Frankie, you keep saying we're going to get this. You keep saying we're going to get this. And it never comes. It never comes. I know many Sages it is happening for and coming for. It depends on your level of your journey. Have you mastered the dance? Have you mastered how to manifest? Have you mastered these things? Don't get discouraged. These are things that are not going to fall into your lap. These are things that are achieved through hard work. So... Don't get discouraged if you're not like, you feel like you're not successful or you haven't manifested this money. You will learn just like, keep at it one step at a time. Learn more info, learn the art of manifestations, learn the art and master the dance and you will. It is most to do with thought. 
it is most to do with visualization, consciously and subconsciously. When you say those things, dear Saj, and some do, still are saying it. Maybe they're new. Maybe they haven't heard me say it before. These are things that are not going to fall into your lap. Like, don't expect the heavens and the earth to open up for you if you're not open to consciously accepting what the universe is offering you. So, it is a trick. Don't get disappointed and don't be dismayed. It is just learning those skills, learning the art of manifestation, learning the art of being open to the universe. Whatever you ask the universe for, they want to give you. They want you to have these things that you wish for and ask for. But what is your conscious mind telling you? And what is in your subconscious? You say things like, it hasn't happened for me. It's not going to happen for me. It's not going to happen. If you say those things, that's what the universe will give you. Like there is a skill to manifestations. There are many things that I have asked for and I have not received right away. Why? Because sometimes it's the people around us that spirit doesn't want us to manifest and then somebody else benefit from. Uh, that I can personally attest to. And then second of all, it's about time frame. Just because you ask for it today doesn't mean it's going to happen tomorrow. You've got to be patient. You've got to be patient and you've got to keep working at it. And I think personally for me, the things that I wished for, I wasn't ready for. It. Now, come on. Just saying. I mean, if I was to manifest... Well, say, when I was in my 20s, I would have blown it. I'm serious. I would have blown it. <laughs> I'm sure I would have bought some really good things. I'm pretty practical. But let's face it. I would have honestly blown it. And other people who weren't supposed to benefit from that would have benefited from that. So, it's about taking the leadership role. What are you doing what Spirit told you to do? Are you consciously and subconsciously saying these things aloud? Are you writing them down? Are you manifesting in your mind's eye? Are you going to bed and during your waking hours going thanks for blessing me with that spirit <laughs> speak as if you've already received and just making those comments tell me you are not ready to receive and I'm sorry but I am trying to tell you how you can be ready you gotta know your value you gotta know your worth You've got to be aligned with God. You've got to be aligned. You've got to tell your mind that the universe wants to provide those things for you. So what do I need to do to get ready for those things? I visualize everything. Oh my God, I'm, a, I'm horrific. When it comes to visualizations, that's all I do. I sit and I visualize and I manifest. What I want my life to look like, what I want for the future. How would this benefit me? If you're manifesting though, there are two reasons generally why you cannot manifest. One, if it hurts someone else. If you're trying to manifest to hurt someone else, or if you're trying to manifest for things are, that are not for your higher good. 
like, I do visualize and everything I have ever visualized has come to pass. It may not be in this year even or the next year. Whenever I am ready, those those um, vibrations, you know, I wasn't ready to receive. I got to be honest with you, I wasn't ready. And in fact, it would have been a calamity had I received what I wanted to receive when I was at cer certain circumstances. It would have been a detriment. So thank God for unanswered prayers. I'm telling you, it comes when you're ready to receive it. When it's aligned for your higher good. So do not get frustrated if you were unable to not get what you wanted to get. Ye of little faith. That's like, you know, um... Just because you didn't get it when you wanted it doesn't mean it's not coming. And so I've put it out there again. So in order to manifest this, in order to turn that wheel into your favor, you got to master the dance. And that's what it's telling you. What's in your subconscious mind? If your subconscious mind and your conscious mind can accept those things, yep, spirit will give you whatever you ask for. As long as it is not to hurt someone else or it is not aligned for your higher good. And once you learn that, it starts to manifest quicker and quicker and quicker because you're ready to receive it. Like, I'm trying to manifest something right now and my mind's been on it. And so I visualize in my mind all the actions I got to do and all the actions I got to take. I got to see myself, say you're trying to manifest a car, all right? Say you're trying to manifest a car or a house. I'll sit there and I will see me pack everything up. I will visualize the neighborhood. Uh, it's not enough to say I want a house. You got to be specific what house you want. Now you got to go around shopping and you got to know what the house looks like. And, and you got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to know what the house looks like. So if you don't know what you're trying to manifest, how does God know what you're trying to manifest? So I get a picture of the house that I want to manifest or a picture of the vehicle that I want to manifest. And then I sit and I think about it. Now I see myself packing to move there. I put a protective aura of light around that house and I visualize a key. I visualize the key, me receiving the key to that house. I pack all my boxes. <laughs> I kid you not, I got it all down to the details how to do this stuff, guys. And then I visualize me uh, putting everything out in that house. I visualize a white light around it so that is safe for me. Please let me be the one to receive this house. And then I go off and I can see it in the future. And I do the whole acts of putting out the furniture, arranging things, my God, to a detail. That is how to get it in your conscious mind and get it your subconscious mind to accept what your conscious is seeing. <laughs> it's a trick to it. But I may not get it when I want to get it. It doesn't mean I'm not going to get it. I may not get it because it might be something wrong with the house. Or it could be a real shitty neighborhood. Or it could be something is structurally wrong with it. Or it could be a bad investment. Or you know what I'm saying. So don't get discouraged. You'll be shown and you got to tell your guides what you want and, and tell, give them permission to act on your behalf. 
And if you don't know where it is, I'd say then provide me one in what you think is going to be a really good, I need your help here. Help me choose the home. Show me the home I'm supposed to be in where you think I would do really well in. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Generally, I don't wish for a lot of stuff like that unless it's going to benefit other people, including myself, but benefits others as well. It's just uh, food for thought. Everybody has their own ways of manifesting. That I just shared some ideas. Oh, yeah. What are you up to here? See, someone is looking at you as wealth. They're looking at you as a single person doing really well for themselves. Ten of Cups. Ah, Ten of Swords. See? That's what I'm talking about right there. Sometimes your prayers may go unanswered because someone has ill intent. Spirit's not going to give you something that's going to put your life or your family in jeopardy. That's what's being here. Why is Elton John going through my head? That just came out of the blue. And you can tell everybody this is my song. It may be quite simple, but now that it's done, I hope you don't mind that I'm stuck on these words. How wonderful life is when you're in my world. Someone wants a second chance. That be the truth. You being emotionally fulfilled here. Whoa, my God, someone hates you. So you have mastered this dance. So you know damn well that someone is around you that has, someone has had very negative talk about you, very negative thinking. So it might have been a blessing in disguise. That you did not receive what you received at the time that you asked for it. 
You got someone very hateful and spiteful here. Deliberately wanting to destroy your happiness. And until you have mastered some sort of dance, you have mastered something. You could have mastered, you know, your subconscious and your conscious thoughts. Something is coming together here. Oh, my. Oh. Uh-huh. Blocking out negativity. Look. So someone's crying over spilt milk here. This person's crying over spilt milk. Woe is me. Woe, I feel so sorry for myself. Uh, I'm depressed. Somebody is... And then they can't figure out why they can't manifest. You cannot manifest in that energy. You cannot manifest until you have mastered the dance. You cannot, you will manifest negativity towards you. You will manifest negative relationships. You will manifest, oh. So a lot of you have mastered this subconscious and conscious thinking you've mastered the dance what you put out there comes back to you so it's like you cannot manifest in the woe is me attitude in the victim mentality because you brought that upon yourself and i am not saying that you deserved to be mistreated hurt in any way but you have mastered that because that's the law of attraction when you get wounded it's like you subconsciously put out there the next person is going to wound me i know it that's what you're going to manifest if you put out there, this is an art. It's a skill and an art to manifestation. However, if you put out there, I deserve and I am worthy to have someone who is this, this, put it in detail, write it down, go into detail. I'm not talking about how tall you want them to be, how how heavy you want them to be, how, how, what color hair you want them to be, how much money you want them to have. I'm not, those are not details that spirit's interested in because spirit can give whatever spirit wants to give. So you got to be specific about what you want. Not what you don't want, what you do want. So someone needs to learn that skill of manifestation and things will be, I'm not promising you the world, but I am promising you it will better your life <laughs> and it'll bring and attract around the right energies that might come in forms where spirit puts you on the path to somebody who can make that happen for you practical means like i'm not talking about dropping a million dollars out of the sky on your lap but tools to help you achieve what it is you want to achieve um a job a higher pay um being able to put money away for that what you want to do with your life Everybody thinks that it's just going to fall out of the sky and it is, it can happen. I've seen that happen where just out of the blue it can happen. But more than often, it's through opportunities, opening doors, taking the leadership role. That's what, I don't know. 
This is a skill to manifestation, and it's a hard one to master. But once you master it, it becomes very easy to manifest. And it may not come in the way you thought it was going to come. So you've always got to be aware, like, simply, you know, when I was young and I was a single mom with two kids, I, I was trying to manifest like crazy. I'm like, I need a house for my kids to grow up and I need a place. I was renting in an apartment. The kids had no yard. It was horrible. I freaking hated it. I had the opportunity when I was a kid to run and play, but my kids didn't. So I'm like, you got to help me manifest this. You got to help me get a house. Right away, Spirit will give me an idea. We'll get in the newspaper. Start. Well, we didn't have Google then or the internet. If we did, I didn't know how to use it. I had a newspaper. <clears throat> and I started looking. And then I started reading all the ads. And then I found an opportunity. And it was only $500 down or something I needed. Well, I didn't have $500, but that didn't discourage me. I'm like, I can get $500. I'll hustle my ass to get $500. I'd have to do an awful lot of overtime and I'd have to do an awful lot of extra babysitting and doing odd jobs for people, but it was achievable, attainable. I needed 500 bucks down and I got it. <laughs> and I, I only had half of it saved up when I made the appointment to go look at this place. I only had 250 bucks and I was going to give the guy 250 bucks right there on the spot and say, uh, it'll take me another two weeks to get you the other $250. He was good with that. And in fact, that ended up, that person ended up being my mentor. He was an older gentleman married with a bunch of kids and he ended up being my mentor teaching me about real estate teaching me about investments anytime frank you need to know something just call i respect you for looking after your kids and wanting a better life for them isn't that weird how god just puts people on your path well i utilize that as a tool because i didn't understand all the details well when the spirit puts people in front of you, it's up to you to take leadership on it. I was dead serious. I wanted that place so bad you couldn't imagine. Oh, I almost burnt out getting it too. I'm telling you, that was, that was crazy. Like I was working graveyard shift and I'm a young mom with two kids. And I'm working graveyard shift. And you got kids that are awake all day? And I'm babysitting during the day? So I was able to get sleep from like 7 o'clock at night to midnight. Every night. But I did it. I did it. And I went on like that for a long time, I'm telling you. And then I'd say, God, I need a better job than this. <laughs> I need something that I, I can be around my kids and I can have a, a decent night's sleep. And sure enough, that came too. You know, it's just... In the proper steps and in the proper order. But you gotta be specific because I've had answers to prayers and I've been given them and granted them, and then I wished I never had prayed for those things. I've had that too. So quite often I'll just say, because we don't can't predict 
those things. So spirits like what I found when I'm doing my prayers and stuff like that, I'll say, if it's your will, spirit, if this is going to be for my higher good and all these people's higher good, then so be it. <laughs> I've had to change my wording. Take care, Satch.